Welcome back to Body Talk and our ultimate series. If you missed anything so far, click on the annotations to check out those videos. But today we're going to do the ultimate full English breakfast and we're going to turn it into a pie. And better still, I'm joined by some builders who are going to come and taste test because after all, they know what they're talking about when it comes to breakfast. Now what's great about this is we're going to put all the ingredients from a full English breakfast, that's sausage, bacon, black pudding, mushroom, baked beans, all inside of a pie. So to start with we need to make the pie crust, which is made with plain flour, and then add into that cold cubed butter. Rub them together until you've got a breadcrumb consistency with a pinch of salt. You can do this in a food processor, but actually just need the fingertips to rub the butter into the flour. It's the same process you'd make for making a crumble. The key is cool hands and cold butter, otherwise you end up with something that's far too sticky. And then add in just enough water until it binds together, because you don't want it too sticky. But what's great about this pastry is it's got so much butter in there, in comparison to flour, that it becomes very short. It's a very short, short crust pastry, that means crumbly. At this point, it's a little bit too warm to work with, so you're going to have to wrap it up in cling film, place it into the fridge to rest for half an hour while we start to make the filling. For the filling of the pie, we've got our sausages. Don't scrimp and save, go for quality sausages. These are Cumberland's, got loads of spices and herbs in them. All we're going to do is give them a little bit of a prick so they don't explode in the pan, and then fry them in a tiny bit of oil, get a golden colour all the way around. We need to cook the sausages off now, but all the other meat ingredients will go into the pie cold. With the sausages in the pan, we move on to the next stage. Now, baked beans, an iconic part of any full English breakfast, but this is ultimate, so we're gonna make our own using haricot beans, and then we're gonna add in shallot, celery, tomato juice, and Worcestershire sauce, because the kind of flavor's inspired by a Bloody Mary cocktail. Perfect for any hangover. Now, everyone can cook a full English breakfast, but what I think is really difficult is to get all the different components to come together correctly at the end. And that's what we're gonna do by cooking each bit individually, and then putting it together into our pie and heating it through. So our shallot and celery go into a pan with a shot of oil, start to soften off. Doesn't matter which cafe you go to, you will find baked beans on the menu, but for normally the cheap, nasty ones. This way, we're making our own homemade version, fresh tomato going in, and a splash of Worcestershire sauce. So we've got control. It's a bit different, but I hope the guys will like it. I'll have to find out. I'm peeling and chopping up some good quality field mushrooms, and we're gonna fry them in a knob of butter. Make sure the butter's hot. You want good color on these mushrooms, not kind of sweating in their own juices. Season the mushrooms well, a pinch of salt and pepper. Breakfast is all about pork. We've already got the sausages, but next up, back bacon, smoked, and black pudding. Now, I love black pudding. I think it's an integral part of any breakfast, and it's becoming more accepted on breakfast menus now, so I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna chunk it up so it gets mixed through the whole mixture, and I know the guys are gonna love that bit. Now that the sausages are cooked, we're slicing up into bite-sized pieces. Now, all of these bits go into one bowl. Black pudding, the raw bacon, the sausage, all of our fried sautéed mushrooms, and then, of course, the lovely homemade beans. Give the whole thing one big mix-up, and we move back to our pastry. Divide the pastry in two, one third saved for later, that's going to be the lid, and two thirds we're going to roll to be the base and the sides. You need a bit of extra flour to dust the work surface, and then roll it out to the thickness of cardboard. I want to serve this pie on its own on a board for the lads to dig into, so it's got to go into a loose bottom cake tin so we can take it out the other end. This is a 24 centimetre one. All I'm going to do is roll the pastry around the pin and lower it into a cake tin. Gently ease it down into the sides and then it's ready for the filling. Pile all of your filling in so it's right up to the top, plenty of juice, and then no English breakfast is complete without a generous squeeze of tomato ketchup. Place the lid on top, that's the last third that's been rolled out. Crimp the edges to seal in all the gaps and brush with beaten edge that goes golden brown. Then place into an oven at 180 degrees Celsius, 50 minutes. All right, gents, here we go. We've got the ultimate breakfast pie, complete with eggs. Hopefully everything you want in an English breakfast inside of that pie crust. It looks awesome. It's impressive. You happy? Yeah. Good, well, let's tuck in and see what we can make of the inside. Nice crumbly crust. Help yourself to an egg. So inside of here we've got black pudding, bacon, sausage, homemade baked beans, with the sauce inspired by Bloody Mary. Thank you. Perfect for the hangover. I'll just have that. Yeah, I was gonna say, should I just give you the rest? <laughs> just leave me the rest. Go on. Yes, please. What are our first impressions on pie? Yeah. It smells it awesome. Looks yeah, it looks amazing. Smells amazing. Looks interesting. Mmm. That's good. Good sausage. Good quality sausage. Mm. It's important that all the ingredients are top notch. So Dave, what's your verdict? 
I was a bit skeptical about it being all together in one pie, but it's surprisingly nice, like, and light as well. Like, you'd think it'd be really heavy, but yeah, it's really nice. The bacon's almost like it's boiled bacon, because it's been cooked in the pie, I'm guessing. Yeah. So, um, it tastes a lot more rich in flavour, as opposed to when it's just stuck in a frying pan. You don't lose plate. all the flavour in the yeah, pan. Yeah, you're all absolutely stays right. In there. Um, normally, I wouldn't actually eat black pudding or mushrooms, but to when you put them together in the pie, it really works. So you get you get all the flavours, and yeah, fantastic. So all in all, can we class this as the ultimate full English breakfast? Yeah, definitely. Lovely. Good twist. Adios, definitely. Good, Thanks. agreed all round. And a clean plate, that's all we like to see. Fantastic, so there you go, the ultimate full English breakfast. If you want all the details for this recipe to give it a go at home, then head to sortedfood.com, or in the meantime, check out our healthier breakfasts on Feel Good Food. And there's our gold leaf there. Yep, so take one, one sachet at a time, one strand at a time. Seriously delicate, scrape it onto there, give it some height. And it's best not to use your fingers, because the heat is enough to cause it all kinds of trouble. A trio of raspberries, a sprig of mint. So there we go. That looks awesome. Awesome or ultimate? Oh, ultimate. Perfect.